Hey friends, today we're going to read a book called 26 Letters by Tana Hobbins. What can you tell me about the book just looking at the cover? It also has um, some coins and stuff on here, but we're not going to discuss that right now. We're just going to focus on these letters. 26 Letters and 99 Cents by Tana Hobbins. A is for airplane. B is for bike. What does this page show? What do you notice? Like, what does it show? It just has what? A letter and then a picture. A letter and then a picture. Do you think the rest of the book is going to be like this? Let's see. C is for car. D is for dinosaur. I know Mason loves dinosaurs, so he'll enjoy this. C is for car. D is for dinosaur. E is for egg. F is for fish. E is for egg. F is for fish. I used to have a pet fish. What do you see on this page? What do you see? What do you see? What do you think begins with H? What is this? A house. <laughs> house. So that begins with the H. G, 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 so that is a glove. G for glove. I is for ice cream. Miss Dalton loves ice cream. What about you? My favorite flavor is vanilla or cookie dough. J is for jelly bean. Jelly bean. J. Jelly bean. K is for kangaroo. K is for kangaroo. Miss Dalton, my name is Kimberly Dalton, so my first name starts with a K. K, K Kimberly. And then it's Dalton. I'll go back so I can show you guys. Dalton. D, D. Dalton, D. So, K is for kangaroo, and L is for lock. M is for mushroom. M is for mushroom, and N is for nut. So, what's different about this page? Everything else has kind of been like an animal or a toy or some type of item. But what's different about this page? These are foods, mushrooms and nuts. You can eat both of these. Have any of you ever tasted this? A mushroom or a nut? Nuts can be peanuts, walnuts, different stuff like that. O is for orange. O is for orange. P is for, what's that? A pig, a piggy pig pig. P is for pig. Q is for quilt. What do we use a quilt for? We use a quilt to cover up when we're cold. Q is for a quilt. R is for robot. Dance like a robot. It's like a robot. R is for a robot. There's that special letter again. What letter is this? S. S. 
S is for seahorse. T is for t -t 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 turtle. T -t -t -t. What letters are these again? S. S is for seahorse. T is for turtle. U is for umbrella. B is for valentine. This says, be my valentine. Are we almost at the end? I don't know. Let's see. W is for wagon. W is for wagon. X is for xylophone. Xylophone. That's something that you can play on. It makes noise. Y is for yo-yo. Z is for zipper. So after we read that, I think that's the end of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time I want you to sing with me. So that was the whole alphabet. So if we flip back through the book, I want you to tell me what letter your name starts with. So I'll go back to my page. My name is Kimberly Dalton. So you guys call me Miss Dalton. So that means I'm gonna trace this D, the the D for Dalton. What letter would you find in your name? What letter is in your name? And why do you think the author didn't include any words in this book? Why do you think that he did that? She, he, or she did that? Do you think they did that to help you learn the letters? Because by you not seeing any words and just sounding it out. So, you know, this is a dinosaur. So, if you listen to the beginning of that sound, of that word, it goes, duh, 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 D, dinosaur. K, 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 car. S, s, C, k, k, car. Egg, eh, eh, egg. Fish, p, 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 fish. That helps you by you hearing, by you just seeing these pictures and looking at these pictures. That helps you learn the letters. G, g, glove. House, house, H, house. Ice cream, I, I, ice cream, I. Jelly bean, j, j, jelly bean. So by you seeing those pictures, that's going to help you learn how to read. And it's going to be very easy for you. Very easy for you. So, guys, we read this book to help us begin to learn our alphabet. And by us learning our alphabet, we'll learn how to read. And that's something that we need to know how to do. Because when you read, it makes your brain grow so much because you get so much knowledge up there and you know all this different stuff. And you want your brain to grow very big. So it's important for you to know your, your alphabet, your letters. 26 letters and 99 stands by Tana Hobbin. Hope you enjoyed it. Learn those letters.